All right, let's check Woo! out the sound. Yes, we have sound. Welcome to the Shady Harbor with me, Little Fox. Um, starting, starting with the grind. Oh yeah, that grind. One day, one day. All right, what would we research the bow charge? Key. Now I'm fairly sure. Hey, wrecked death, wrecked death man. Welcome to the stream. What's up? How are you doing? Finra, every single time I walk past him, he jumps out at me. Yeah, pretty good. Can't complain. Just kidding. I can always find something to complain about. My only problem with this game is the loading screens, especially doing these missions, because you've got to go from one place to another. <sighs> oh well. I Tips for leveling up: uh, Harrow storms in the Alakia Desert is what I apparent is what apparently is the uh, best way. Um, with just drop into the game, maybe join a guild and uh, like a starter guild and ask for uh, some starter armor, some like train training armor. Alakia Desert. This one here. This is where most people like like grind the um, dolmens. Did I say Harrowstorm? I meant dolmen. Sorry. I don't. Re I haven't really needed to grind. I've just been enjoying the game, like the just doing the quests, and like I, I find that I have a need for skill points more than I need anything else. <laughs> Because I'm trying to build up my crafting character and my gathering character. Well, I suppose I could probably just have the same character do that. But I don't want to. I want a separate one. Because I'm special. <laughs> but at the moment, this is where everyone's at. Waiting, 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 waiting. Can't find it. Did not see it that good. Oh, I'll just look it up on Google. But, um, yeah, I cannot. Sort of like that sort of um, northeast section there of uh, ta of Tamriel. So around there. Be, 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 be. Underneath the weird lamb leg looking thing. Do I have any missions right now? Oh, I don't. Oh, I don't. Resets are two. LOL. Alright, well. I'm good for now. You don't have a teleport there? Um. Should be able to go to wherever your um, thing is. You should be able to go to your um, main cities with a with a port and get sent and like um so like you should be able to get sent there or just ask someone to give you a lift there but yeah I just do missions and armor and stuff oh like quests I mean not missions <laughs> I'm not frozen coast solitude docks no Solitude. Just going there from the nearest teleport. Yeah, I just well, I mean, like it just pick up crafting material and um, sky shards on the way. Oh, it is way too hot in Australia right now. Sharps and collectors, test your wits and courage. In a you brand new test your wits and courage. It's actually not a bad game. I'm bad at it, but the game's alright. Um, yeah. Have I. Do, do, do. 
Yeah, I'm good. Now, just need to finish whatever mission I was on with my uh, crafter. But yeah, make, do do the main quests first. Make sure you've got. Make sure you're doing the um the current event because you get a hundred percent experience boost if you're a part of the event. You get an item where like you, I don't know why they make it so that you have to drink it every two hours, and then it doesn't work after the event ends. It's lame. Yay XP pod. Apparently it stacks, but I haven't actually tried it. Tried stacking it yet. I've been saving up my um experience scrolls for when I actually start doing a grind for like battlefields and stuff. I find that I earn the most when I'm when I do random um oops. When I do random uh, dungeons. Right, where am I? This is my crafter. He is also a um a tank slash it's like a tank that I built as a passive healer. So like I'll I draw aggro, um I soak up damage and I heal people around me. And I've accidentally like made a decent PvE character somehow. Like, I literally don't even have to block anymore with this guy. Wow, when they do that, I block. Wait, fuck up. Why don't you do that? Yeah, that's right. Asshole. I found a Daedric chest with something inside it. I have no idea what was inside it. I always always pick everything up as well. I'm a prolific hoarder when it comes to like video games. That is the coolest looking lectern I've ever seen and I want it. I need this. I need this in my life. Holy shit, yes. <gasps> How cool is it? I want this. Yes. Not like a real life skeleton though. That would be pretty shit. You can make my skeleton into into something like that after after I die, as long as that's legal. That'd be cool. Imagine imagine having like after your death having your skin turned into into uh, book pages. That'd be that'd be metal as fuck. It used to be like a an honor to like have that happen. You apparently willing to bet you anything that it, that was used and abused. I have to go all the way to Riften to finish this quest. Fuck off. Okay, wait. Aha! Uh -huh. Rescue you now. Hey, a chest. Hey, a shame! Welcome back, how are ya? Did you hear that, uh, Elon, did you see the Elon, Elon Musk fucking, uh, Twitter bullshit? Wait, why am I getting sounds? Why am I, why did I, why am I getting sounds? Oh, okay, that's why. Da, 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 da. Getting Discord notifications, audible ones. So, well. Wee. I wonder if like the force lock mechanic is actually like useful in any way. I never put skill points into it, and I this is the most fun lock picking mechanic I've ever had in a game.
It just makes the most sense. Elon Musk Twitter bullshit. Well, like, do you know, you know, you want to know the first thing I looked up when I saw that poll? The estimated worth of Twitter over the la like over the last day to see if there's any change. Like seriously, every time that motherfucker does something, it's to make money somewhere else, either pump or uh, dump a stock. Seriously, that's literally all he does. Well, pump and dump, I guess, is the thing. Either pump a stock or uh, short it, is what I should probably say. I mean, I know that Twitter's not on the stock market, but like, um, if he's uh, looking at uh, leveraging it as a financial investment or something like that, that 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 would make sense. Like, y'all look at Elon Musk as if he's like just a dumbass that does whatever he wants, and like that's probably true to an extent. But the the guy the the guy um, every time that guy tweets, he's either selling or buying stocks. You need to realize this. <laughs> and you can call that smart, if you like. I call that fucking evil, but, you know. I guess evil doesn't really exist, but my personal perception of what, uh, something, of something which is morally uh, reprehensible. Um, because you can only really do what he does because you've got money. That That's it. Like, if he didn't have money, he wouldn't be able to do, this, do any of the shit that he does. It's not because he's smart, it's not because he's, like, some sort of genius, it's because he's got money. Motherfucker has money. Um, and he's able to control markets with that mar with that money. Like, free market, uh, all, y all y'all lovers of the free market, like, what's your, what's your excuse for supporting uh, Elon Musk and what he does? Space Karen Keck. Tesoro is on the stock market. You love seeing Tesla drives knowing the stock is going down. Like, that shit has plummeted. I, I saw someone trying to, trying to, trying to... Oh, I'm out of inventory space. That took a while. Is Grimoire's sash? Find it. In the dark and find it. Let's get... Ooh. Garana, that looks like a friggin... Strawberry. Hey guys. What's up? Pew -pew. Circle around. Yeah, nice try, buddy. You ain't no assassin beetle. Hey, stop that. Ah, oh, stupid keyboard. My keyboard uh, double up, doubles up the keys every now and then. I need a new keyboard, and a new headphone, and probably soon a new mouse. Everything is falling to pieces. <sighs> Most Americans have not had a referendum on whether or not we as taxpayers wanted to subsidize Tesla. It's just sort of happened with this guy. Yeah, yeah exactly. Did you vote on that? Dang it. I'm out of space in my inventory, hold on. Right, pick him up. Freedom at last. I don't know how much longer I could have survived. I need to get the uh, followers at some point. But followers usually just annoy me by getting in the way of my screen. Golden coins, the color of pitch. Nern draped in cold silk. What could it mean? It's the reptilians. Back at Pariah Abbey, friend. We must learn more. Friend, I only just met you, dude. It was never on no ballot. You would have no voted no. Fuck that guy, yeah. Yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah. Also, like... Oh, 
来。喂。I got my Pringles. Shut up, boy, and bring me my Pringles. Want some jag in here? <laughs> Fuck that one up. Hold on, I can do it. Ah. Or is he still, like, upset that, um, he's probably still pissed off that, um, Chelsea Manning, uh, uh, ended up with his ex. Ugh. Imagine being pregnant with that kid, that guy's baby. <sighs> Fucking gross. <clears throat> Alright, I've got one more person to save, but before I do that... Yeah, Grimes. Grimes gives me the same energy that, um, that shoe and head does. Fuck Kellogg's though. Fucking slave labor. Yeah. Yeah, apparently they're dating. You didn't know that? Also, Elon Musk, one of um, Elon Musk's kids is trans as well. The like, he's like a double fucking dickhead for being anti-trans. Um, because they they have that dumb, uh, min they have that like misunderstanding of Marxism energy. You know what I mean? It's like a lot of people will read Marx, and they'll just immediate that they'll say nothing means anything. And they'll leave it at that, and not realize, like... Nothing... Anything could mean anything, but that's not the fucking reality. We can study that reality. We just need to be understand. we just need to understand how we come to these conclusions about reality. It was really interesting. I was like talking to a right winger on um, on a on a Discord channel the other day, and they were talking about how sports um, has always they they were trying to they were saying like sports is about like you know physical competitions. <clears throat> so chess is not a sport and stuff like that, right? Hey, how's it how's it going? Yo yo, hey who's it? Um, and so he basically made the same argument about sports that I would make about gender. It was awesome. I pointed that out, and I'm just like, well, yeah. It's a cultural and social thing that changes with time. And if you and your, and the people that, um, you spend time around the most all call sport, you know, physical activity then I would agree that that is what sport means. But I just find it funny that, like, he ended up making an argument for, um, you know, social... Like, he ended up making the same, like, social construct argument that uh, I would about gender. My horses are beauties. Look love, don't you just love it? Um... Yes. Oh yeah, Hosea, you might like that. Like to hear about this. I um, 
Um, I, I, I might be doing a uh, debate this Thursday night. The Crucible will contacted me and said, "Hey, did you want to debate on whether sex work should be legal?" I'm like, "You brought me a present? Fuck yeah! Merry Christmas to me!" <clears throat> Mm. Grimes just that that's what I mean though, like she's not a rightoid or a leftoid. She just doesn't have the comprehensive understanding of these issues that you would kind of need to make the comments that, that she does. So it's similar to Shu on here. She just doesn't have an understanding of the pol of of how the politics works, um, and if she did, then you would hear a lot less dumbass shit. Oh. Yeah, so that's an early Christmas present for me. <laughs> We are doing some roots. Put an honor reds. So what did you send me? Eleven fifty-eight. The USA is not a democracy. From Turning Point USA. I'll definitely queue that one up. My gosh. Sending me cringe this early in the morning. How dare you? Hmm. <laughs> toilet, toilet paper, USA. Ooh, bookshelf. Nothing in the bookshelf. Jewelry or anything? Nothing to research. Where do you get the better rings to research in this game? You saw some other convention on? Ooh. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't really follow whatever they do. Because I think they are... Dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Dumb, dumb. dumb. My inventory is full. I forgot about that. Oh. Okay, let's empty some, some of it out. What the fuck was that? It sounded like someone coughed. I also figured out how the whole um, tickets thing works in this game. Um, Welcome to the Bank of Daggerfall. Um, I have to buy the tickets in the Crown Store and send them to someone. So, if anybody is watching now, right? And, and and would like some tickets, then let me hit me up and I'll get you the, those those tickets because I need to give away five anyway. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. Hit me up for hit, hit me up for the event tickets and I'll send them to you. Like uh, just um message me in game. My um in game ID is the same, so it's like sh shady little fox. So if I've, if I've got any um, ESO chatters, hit me up. Damn it! Like the, <laughs> now that I think about it, right? I <laughs> contribute to the cult totem. <laughs> yeah, um, it is. The the aircon is broken in here, and yes, this is this is a fan. Um, how what the outdoor temperature? It is 27 degrees. It is 8.16 in the morning. I have uh, a high powered PC in the corner, the door locked, and I have, um, um, like, padding on the um, window behind me so that I don't get light pollution. It's fucking hot inside here. It is so hot. <laughs> I'm going to start sweating soon.
Find it. Uh, with oh, I can't withdraw. I need to uh, put stuff in the back. Um. Oh wow, I've got shit tons. Go bark, Nazul. Go. Ahead. It's it. No, it's Straya. Yeah, no, nah, it's Straya. Dang it. I don't want to open that up because that's got shit in it. Below freezing? Ugh. I wish I had that. Jeez. Come close trapping potion. Can't put that in there. Can put that in there. Instant all research. I'm going to hold on to that. Pink profundity. Isn't it? I don't know what it is, but I am throwing it out. Sorry, honey lager. <laughs> okay. There's a drink in this game called. You take the musician first. It's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes. I see what you. I nice try there. What? What? Ah! Uh, uh, well, you almost got me there. Almost got me there. I should do an amaranth and start like just having my um having my uh, stream on like 24/7 like while I'm sleeping, so people like show up five minutes before I'm supposed to wake in just in case I forget that people think that I forget that um that that that, that like I, I'm being filmed, so I pull my boobs out. You sick sick fucks. Know it already? Don't know it. Don't know it. Don't know it. Jewelry, armor, and weapons. So I'm just gonna have to pick up everything. Because I've got too much in my inventory. Alright, let's deposit some shit. Nelly has nice, dirty southern drill music. Has he been cancelled yet? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I was doing deliveries, um, doing deliveries the other night, right? And, uh, I was driving on, um, on, on a road that was called, uh, Old Town Drive or something like that. And then the, um, Little Naz song came up, and I'm like, damn, yeah. Love that song. Can't remember how it goes. Andrew Callaghan, Callahan has pissed off Don Lemon. Wait, who's Don Lemon? I recognize that name. Oh yeah! Did you, um, did you end up seeing, um, you ended up, you went to the show, didn't you, Shame? Or you're going to the show? How was it? There we go. 
<laughs> Don Lemon. It sounds like a really weird ass fucking name. How did he piss off Don Lemon? Fuck you, I'll do whatever stupid shit I want. Stupid fucking NPC. Immortal NPC. Don Lemon got pissed because he couldn't bait Andrew. Andrew was implying CNN does says lib shit. What is that? Was there a wait, wait, wait? Was is this is this a fucking interview or something? Wait, oh, that's a live stream. Wait, this is like fresh shit, right? I can't find anything on it. Two weeks ago, five months, one year, seven months, two years, one month. Hold on. Yeah, I'll show what I'm doing at least. Where is this? When he calls out Don Lemon. Or is this, ha I don't know, like, was this, is this well, being covered now? There was actually now? net zero immigration. Right. We were losing uh, more people than we were gaining. So pretending that, that was a major issue that you should be super angry about was really to get people angry about identity politics. These people that don't look like us are crossing the border. Meanwhile, you're not paying attention to the actual robbery, which is the don't Okay, I mean, that's what he cited, but we knew that he wanted to stop the flow of migration anyway, right? Biden continued that confidence he has in two different ways. Number one, of course, a portfolio of 13 properties and an animal rescue charity that saved more than 2,005. Choose the facts that they bring to you, as well as the new of Channel 5, formerly known as All Gas No Breaks, is calling out CNN to its face. And as you can tell, Don Lemon was not pleased I think I that. found it. No. But uh, was Andrew's criticism of corporate media valid? Well, we'll tell you what we think shortly. But first, let's talk a little more about the confrontation, give you a little context about what they were discussing. Woo! Now, okay. Andrew Callahan was <laughs> on CNN specifically to promote his upcoming documentary, which is titled This Place Rules, which will debut on HBO Max on December 30th. Now, the whole uh, documentary is about what led to the Capitol rights on January 6, 2021. Now, Andrew interviews plenty of right wingers in the documentary, including Alex Jones, but he insists that they aren't the only reason why the country is so divided, right? Like, he makes an argument actually that we make on this show often that what happened with Trump, what happened on January 6, that's really a symptom of a deeper issue that needs to be dealt well, with. Yeah. So let's watch the full exchange and then we'll discuss. It's a microcosm of this. The movie's not just about like the, the Capitol riot and all that, it's also about like media echo chambers. You know what I mean? And like the dangers of the 24-hour uh, news cycle and how I think mainstream media like Fox and even CNN like competes for views by running constant 24-hour news cycles based upon fear, division, outrage, and panic. Probably to constant. like sell ads. And uh, hey, the Twitch, the Twitch, um, the Twitch pod politics um, zone is no fucking stranger to this either. Like our Twitch, str Twitch streamer jobs depend on drama, farming, basically, in, in any way possible. Like, we gotta find news, we gotta find things to react to, we gotta find, you know, games to play, we gotta do... We gotta find something to talk about. Sometimes it's just talking with uh, with an audience, which is, you know, really cool and fun to do as well. But, like, when you work in some form of media, and, like, that could be... Fucking even being an artist, you still need to make art 
and a lot of art, you know, tries to find things, you need to find something transgressive that people are going to take notice of, otherwise you do not get paid. I don't know, I wonder if anyone's going to criti criti criticize the uh, aspect of capitalism within this. So it's not just about the capital, right? I am. I'm, not, I'm not exactly sure, first of all, I don't agree with what you're saying. But I'm not exactly sure of how that played into people going into the capital. Uh, and Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? I and rioting on January sixth. Are you fucking um, kidding me? Fake about CNN. Oh, not. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying like fake news. It's I'm not... just saying ramping people up and increasing yeah. division during this period. What the fuck has has how 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 many years how many years has um has Anchorman two been out now? When did Anchorman 2 come out? Like, watch Anchorman 2. Like, that is like, that that is the criticism of the 24-hour um, news cycle. 2013, almost 10, almost a decade ago. Like, we we get we we end up like we the the 24-hour news cycle has been criticized for a very long time for this very specific issue. To be like completely unaware of like your what your position is within the media framework and how the business works it's either you, you're either fucking dumb as fuck or willfully ignorant i guess of time just watching people kind of fall down the rabbit hole and be pushed into action and like just yeah falling down the conspiracy rabbit hole yeah i think people, more people would uh, consider you know what's happening online and um the what happened with the former president and the messaging that he was putting out there and QAnon and so forth. That oh, yeah. I, I, I Who was reporting on that, you fucking definitely, dickhead? I definitely agree 100% with that as well. Really? really? Mm. So I think what he was touching on there was important and accurate because what you probably, first of all, the, the point about filter bubble, bubbles is demonstrably true, right? If you are in a right wing media filter bubble, meaning that's the only perspective that you're being offered up online, well, then you're only going to get that one perspective. And that one perspective demonizes the other side and vice versa, right? And what sells in media? Remember, these are for profit media organizations that are looking to get as much viewership as possible. And the way they do that is by drumming up drama. Drumming up, you know, whatever blood sport. What? They, drumming like up drama? I'm not. I'm definitely not. I'm definitely not taking part in this. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm not making content on drama. What? Blood sport feel to pop. I think you know what it is. You know what it is. It's what the it's what the right is saying. It's what the right wing is saying. That that's 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 the bad. Don't look at me. I'm just reporting on it. I have absolutely no say on what. Like you know, I. The, the, the stories that I spread to an audience. Politics Absolutely today, none. That I think is, in fact, leading to the division we're seeing in the. Like, uh, the, I want to, I want, I really want to know whether TYT is actually going to, like, it'd be interesting to see whether they have the same criticisms of themselves as I do about my, what I do and what other people like me do. And, like, anyone who comments on media and, and day to day news, like, does. Like, we, and and people like TYT and CNN have more ability than I do to pick and choose what to report on because there is enough to report on um, that you need to pick and choose. Just like how the um, man who uh, set himself on fire, who immolated himself um, in uh, recently, I, I don't know if it was that recent actually, I can't even remember. Um, that news didn't even come to uh, Australia, as far as I know, but it didn't even last a, uh, a week um, in the news, in the, uh, it didn't even last one news cycle um, in America. It was that he immolated himself in protest of um, um, the, well, people doing fuck all about climate change. So yeah, I want to see, I want to see that. Like, you, you can report on real shit, or you can report on the dumb thing that, uh, that Elon Musk said on Twitter. <laughs> Country. But I think it's actually much I wish I had a team of people so, to Look, do uh, that. I thought Andrew was, to be honest, too soft uh, when Don Lemon pushed back. You better but be I, careful, he's coming for you. All gas, no brakes. Okay, well, yeah, I'm right here. Um, so, uh, 
Look, first of all, I loved how Don Lemon was outraged. He did was not money. like that. Oh, I disagree with that. I do declare. What do you mean, mainstream media? Is that not fake at all? But it is, Don. It is. And it doesn't mean Don's a bad guy, okay? Huh? Uh, but it, he doesn't even realize the, the role he plays in the theater. So now, the two parts of the theater that are the most important that leads to that's the original. Your, that's your commentary? Imitation? Okay, cool. Like, ha 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 ha. He was funny. Like, he was so upset. Like, no, but what's your deeper commentary on this? Conclusion that Andrew Drew. Do you have was, any, like, uh, number one, um, uh, reflection on yourself as a media news. organization? It's not objective news. They just like, the please tell me that you at least understand, like, how you interact with um, the wider culture as a media organization. Please. The status quo, pro corporate position, and call it objective. They call anything ah, that is for right. change okay. radical and okay. different and wrong. Yep. They do it yep. all the time. In fact, mm -hmm. you can see it with your own eyes. Instead of, I just told you, you'll see it everywhere now, right? Anything that is. No fucking self awareness. Keep the system the same. The people None. at the top remain at the yeah. zero. Mainstream media How can characterized as very positive. Anything that changes the system, very negative. And so the most important part of that is they pretend that politicians are honest and that they're having a real ideological debate and that money doesn't what? control anything and that millions of dollars that they get. I don't watch TYT that often, so like I'm the I, I did I don't didn't realize how dumb Chenk uh, sounds most of the time. From donors Shut up. is not Shut up! Go go to the kitchen, make a sandwich. Let the lady They're speak. All relevant. That's why they never ever discuss it on CNN. Do they? You ever hear segments of well, you know, on the one hand, Warnock took this much money and Walker took that much money, and this donor wants that? No, you don't hear that at all. No. Nope. You hear about fake issues, not the people who are actually controlling politicians. And yes, to the people in mainstream media, I said people control yeah, politicians. But why do they do that? Why do you do that? Why am I doing that? It's not because we have a real choice in this. We have to do the thing that makes money. What's the problem? We have we are forced to do the thing that makes the most money, and I mean it when I say forced. It's like not, it's less less on me because I don't really have uh, I don't have a company that has shareholders. But any company um, that has shareholders um, is has a burden upon them to continue to make profits. We are forced into this situation by a system that does not allow for nuance in the way that you are advocating for Chank. Chank, you're you're as much guilty of this lib shit as they are, and you're missing the forest through the trees in this issue. And no, it is not based on. Religion. I was not expecting to be criticizing the left from the left today when I opened up this video. I was not expecting this. Ethnicity. It is based on. Cold this is not cash. planned. Everyone else on the planet knows that if you give somebody a couple of million bucks, they're going to do exactly what you tell them. The only people who can't figure that are the, that out are the people in the news business. Okay, so no, you are fake. You are in the news business. What are you fucking talking about, dude? Don't try and separate yourself from this. What? You're you're as much guilt. You are currently reporting on this issue. You report on the same issues that grab attention because it's a business. And when you run things like a business, when you are forced into making money, through a system of capitalism, then it inevitably ends up in an un you end up being trapped in these circumstances where you can't actually report on important things that people need to hear. Because unfortunately, telling people about the things they need to hear, they're fucking boring. And nobody really cares about them. Nobody wants to think about them because they are boring. They're not intention grabbing. Like I can talk about you can talk about, you know, this person, this politician here trying to push forward this type of legislation and stuff like that. But unless you can get like, whoa, this politician is 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 um, involved in a scam and blah, 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 and like some sort of drama, people do not give a fuck. And that's a problem. Because if people don't give a fuck about your story, they don't click, you don't get views, you don't get money. 
you can't continue a business like that. The problem is not the fact that Don Lemon or CNN are picking and choosing what um, articles to report on. The problem is that they are forced to pick the most um, attention-grabbing headlines in order to continue as a business. Otherwise, someone else will come along and do what they do. Like, that's where we are with this shit. And, and you're as trapped in the system as they are. It's just you have a slightly more left-leaning, center-left audience than maybe CNN does. Maybe a younger audience. Ugh. Everything that you say is premise on fake. And why does, uh, why does the Spanish media do that? Well, they got $17 billion in spending in the last midterm election, and it went all to media. The great majority to television. And golly gee, television reporters and journalists can't seem to find out what's wrong with private interest giving $17 billion to politicians and that their votes happen to line up with those donors perfectly. Golly gee, I couldn't, I couldn't find that mystery in. Most people find that fucking boring, dude. I'm sorry. Like, I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. I, most people find that shit fucking boring, dude. And like, that's not because, they, and I'm not saying they don't need to hear that stuff. But the reason why CNN doesn't report on that shit is because it doesn't make money. It's not because someone is like supporting um, capitalistic interests. It just we are trapped in a system which perpetuates the system. We are. Um, we are forced oh, what was that what was that quote it was brilliant um the proletariat is forced into um create into working towards recreating the conditions that enslave them um I, i'm that's a heavy paraphrase and it's said much better by the original author but my ADD brain decides not to tell me shit when I need to say it. Sort of politics. And then the second part of it is related. What does mainstream media, as in CNN, agree with right wing media, as in Fox, on every economic issue? So what do they do? They do what Andrew and Anna were referring to. They get people riled up on culture wars. And I'm sure that there is some, there is a capitalistic slant to this by people with lots of money that own these things. But like, it's less pre prevalent and relevant than knowing that the system pe perpetuates itself. And we had like, this is just like the prison system. Like, these are problems that need to be. Um, they need to be they need to be attacked at a systemic level they're not going to be attacked they're not going to be fixed by say by calling out Don Cheadle they're not going to be fixed by me calling out Cheng for, for uh, his hypocrisy like they're not going to be fixed by me um, calling myself out for my own hypocrisy within all of this I am reporting on this drama I, I, well I'm not reporting reporting I am commenting on this drama right now to make money as much as anyone else and it's boring as fuck. Why do you think I don't have, like, shit tons of viewers? <laughs> it's stuff I find interesting. This is yep. the point that yep. Anna's been making for years here. And so while we fight each other on cultural wars, and CNN's like, oh, black people are good and gay people are good, and the Fox News says, no, they're bad, and then, then we fight. This is just the thing, it's just like, it's pointing out, like, problems and not, like, even engaging with the idea that there might be a reason for things to happen you know what happened what, like if you really want to call yourself like left wing wouldn't you wouldn't you like wouldn't you wouldn't you try and uh analyze this shit from a um material uh dialectical materialist perspective is it, wouldn't that be wouldn't that be a good idea uh, I, need, I need I need the the recipes all right gossamer mazed and alakia beets gossamer mazed and beets oh dear I need to find it oh I need to go to the pub I guess um what else Fight, right? Transgender people should go in which bathroom and fight, right? Dude, yeah. But meanwhile, student debt relief, 
and all of a sudden, CNN and Fox News anchors all magically agree. Yes, exactly. You get that yes, yes. In fact, like I got, I got people tweeting at me about CVS selling dildos, like which they've been doing for a while now, and it's like, nice. This is not what's ruining your life right now. Understand that. But anyway, uh, but it's what people it, click on. It's what people click on. Like that, that that's why. You're calling out, you're, you're asking, you're saying that there's a problem. That's why it gets clicks. Fuck. Interaction uh, with Andrew and Don Lemon made me remember when I went on CNN specifically because Brian Stelter back in 2016 wanted to understand, like, is the press failing to really understand the American people? Like, that's what the topic of discussion was. I was like, oh, you want me to talk about that? I could talk about that. So I go on. Uh, by the way, after this interview, Brian Stelter never invited me back on the show again. Uh, he no longer has a show on CNN. But nonetheless, um, here was that appearance. I haven't seen this video for years. Uh, so let's take a look. The same types of components that corrupt our politicians, I think, also corrupt mainstream media. So it's really difficult for mainstream, let's say, cable outlets My to talk about things like income inequality, uh, wealth inequality, when the advertisers that are funding their shows are the same corporations that want to ensure that the same system continues. Those so issues... I think when people watch digital media or new media, they get a completely different mm. message. So those, those issues only matter to people who don't have money. Selling dildos isn't the problem, but the workers making those dildos not getting the worth of their labor is a problem. Damn straight. And the battery's never long, lasting long enough. They focus on the issues that matter or resonate more with the constituency. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty, <laughs> pretty good. So, okay, I have many things to say. First of all, to be fair to Stelter, yeah, I, I rewatched the whole uh, uh, segment, and it was a pretty good segment. And he was the only one that did a segment about, "Hey, wait, is the, I wonder if the press is wrong?" Right? Literally, the like first and only segment show. ever. Uh, and they, I don't mean like, "Oh, hey, did we get a part of a story wrong?" Like, wait, are we misunderstanding the American people and their frustration? And so, credit to him for doing that segment. That's why it was never repeated again on CNN. That's why it took another four years for Anna to be invited back on. And only that's because Bernie Sanders looked like he was about to win in 2020. And so, it looked like progressives were going to have power, and CNN caters to power. And that's why Anna and I were invited back onto CNN. The minute he lost Super Tuesday, Gone. we have never been invited back Gone. on CNN. Okay, so that's how corporate media works, right? But also, furthermore, uh, having watched that entire segment again, My food isn't anything to write man, you go back. You're still not feel. talking about the reasons behind some. this shit. My gosh, is this is this what TYT does? They complain about shit and like not talk about the reasoning behind the shit. They're literally just complaining about um, journalists as if they are the fucking problem. You can't solve systemic problems by blaming individuals. That doesn't work. You can watch old clips of Anna, and you're then you're not going to be surprised why hashtag Anna was right trends. Okay. Yeah. Well. Yeah. They're exactly. They're exactly the same. That's my point. I'm the same as them. They're the same as them. Like we're all commenting on news, and we're <sighs> CNN having the most amount of. Uh, ability to pick and choose what stories that they report on and, and like I, I I'm sure there is a capitalistic slant to that like I said earlier but to not even be oh, self-aware enough about this to say that you're guilty of doing the exact same thing and realize that it's because you're forced into appealing to the clicks you're appealing to the clicks. You're appealing to what? Like, these culture issues are not in the media because people care about it, like, because it affects people's lives, or because the media even cares about it. It's there, or journalists, I guess. The media. Yeah, yeah the media could be anything, but, like, journalists in general. Journalists don't pick and choose this stuff. Or publish this stuff, I guess, is probably the better, better, better term for it, um, because they really care about these issues more than they care about keeping a roof over their heads. 
and earning money and growing as a company and being capitalists. It's capitalism. It's what I wait for. I, I, I keep waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting watching TYT to call out the fact that these are systemic problems that uh, cause these issues, but they're not going to do it, are they? They're just not going to. They're just going to say they're just going to say that they're better than them for uh, no they're not even going to say that they're better than them they're not even going to focus on themselves it's like not there's no self-awareness in this but yeah oh hakim is good but i do need to uh yeah react to this since uh USA. Toilet paper, USA. This is not just a crisis of Roe. This you, the USA is not a democracy. It's a constitutional republic. Oh. This is a crisis of our democracy. I mean, they are quite literally trying to dismantle democracy. Our democracy is what is at stake. Protecting our democracy. And the greatest democracy on earth. Our democracy. Yeah, but do you understand, like, that, that, that talking about like the concept of democracy if you're going to like talk dick write a dictionary with me right now say for democracy for democracy so the rest of us can continue to live in a democracy almost assuredly you've heard claims from critics on the american left that aspects and outcomes of our political system are undemocratic this tends to happen when, for instance, a new law or judicial ruling is not supported by popular opinion, or when a politician is elected by winning the electoral. Oh, so 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 they're calling us. Oh, not going to use that term anymore. They're calling it as I say it. Oral vote, but not the popular vote. Get rid of the electoral college. <laughs> The basis of these claims is essentially that a democracy should reflect popular opinion in almost every respect. But it's worth asking, is that what a democracy is designed to do? A democracy is a political system in which the people have an electoral say in the legislation. By that definition, the definition, giving the people an electoral say that. is what a democracy is designed to do. And that electoral say means that popular opinion is an important factor in the governance of a democracy. But if popular opinion was the only factor that mattered, that wouldn't be democracy. That would be pure majoritarianism. With pure majoritarianism, Oh, okay. Help me get back on my feet. The majoritarianism. Okay. It's a real term. Sounds pretty dumb. Why don't we just call that democracy, though? Like, that's what democracy is. Um, also claiming that, um... It's the majority oppressing the minority. You're uh, removing uh, intersectionality from that question completely. At the moment, we do have majoritarianism in the sense that we have a uh, hierarchical system of governance in which the people with a small amount of people with a lot of power are able to um, to impose their will upon the uh, minority that, that doesn't have a lot of power. And that's not a majority um, of bodies, that's a majority of power. And that's how governance works. If you don't understand that governance is about right. the collection of power and how power works, if you don't understand that um, the power is not about how many people vote get to vote it's about how many people get to pay for adverts yeah demon de demoncracy yeah it's when capitalism but yeah um good job like the rest of this video is going to be um her writing the dictionary on what democracy means 
ignoring the idea that uh, Paola, um Oh my gosh, that was a good lightning strike. Um, the, the, ignoring the idea that power um, is not uh, about, you know, like a majority of people and bodies. It's about um, who gets to decide who uses that power. Like, that's that's all it is. Koreanism. Popular opinion dictates that whatever the majority want, they get. And that might sound fair, unless you happen to have heard of history, which is replete with instances of majorities bulldozing the rights of minorities on the basis of race, religion, ideology, geography. It goes on and on. Man's capacity. Funny that when you put these things to referendums, the majority of people, individual people, um, want to protect minorities. Funny that. And it's when a small amount of people get to have the choice over what, how power is wielded that you find the most amount of oppression for minorities. So we're talking monarchies, um, autocracies, uh, theocracies, anything. Our current system oppresses minorities. Like your 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 criticisms of majoritarianism don't work because the system of government that you have right now doesn't do the right thing either. What's your solution? ...for abusing his fellow man knows almost no bounds. But perhaps you're not familiar with history and you still think pure majoritarianism sounds like a good idea. After all, what could be bad about a political system governed solely... Is Kush gonna break her neck or something? ...by popular opinion. That looks painful. Popular also, I hate to point this out, but honey, you really need to put pull. You really need to um, pull your foundation all the way back to your ear, not just around the face area, because it's very, very noticeable when it's turned to the side. About a political system governed solely by popular opinion. Hey, done right away. Popular is right there in the name, but the problem is, so is opinion. And if you've ever met anyone with opinions, well, you know that opinions can get messy. They change. Sometimes they change rapidly and significantly. Sometimes they change. Yeah, see, that's not only a, that's not only a bad thing if you're scared of change, like conservatives are. You're talking about something that doesn't scare me. Change doesn't scare me. I want change. Shit needs to change. Fucking give it to me. Give it. Give it. Give me the change. Oh yeah, put that change. Spill that change all over my back. And then change back. And sometimes they are based on misinformation, lies, or even malicious propaganda. If pure majoritarianism somehow avoids becoming a weapon with which to commit gross human rights violations, it's still an engine for chaos, generating cycles of debate that never actually settle on anything. Or, worse yet, a tool to be manipulated by malicious So when's the history going to come up here? forces. A flimsy raft tossed around the sea by the winds of popular opinion and waves of treachery. And to be fair, it's hard to imagine that critics on the left are actually advocating for pure majoritarianism. It's not difficult to understand its perils and to appreciate that in order to avoid being tossed around by popular opinion, a democracy must be fashioned into a more seaworthy vessel. But what kind of vessel? A democracy must be fashioned into it. So, so, so you're saying that you, you're saying you're saying that uh, fascism, fa fascism needs to, you, needs to organize. De de fascism is better than democracy. She's she's saying fascism, right now. She's saying yeah, we need more fascism. Yeah, actually, um, like majority of people are pressing, like voting on something on an issue that actually oppresses the minority. Uh, citation needed. Like seriously, she said that she said that this is a historical fact. Like, can you like tell me the truth about that? Like, we've moved on from. Um, what was it, Plato or uh, Socrates that uh, was skeptical of uh, of uh, pure democracy, right? We should listen to all the scientists that says ca capitalism is killing the world. Yeah, defer to the expert, educate our kids properly, 
Um, and yeah, like majoritarianism, as you describe it, is uh, ends up with better results than we currently have. Like everything that she's saying now are problems that we face right now. So her argument that we need to have someone guiding the people, we need strong, we need strong men to guide the weak opinions of the majority. You're, you're wanting, t you're wanting to have power concentrated in the hands of fewer people in order to make decisions. You are advocating for fascism right now. Yay, fascism! Fascism. All right, sh let's, let, let's listen to the historical benefits of ha fascism. Is it a gondola, a cutter, a battleship? That's where the real disagreements take place. The ship known as the United States, the USS US, was fashioned by the founding fathers, who started from a historically rare place. Fucking hell! Like, why y'all? Why y'all like dick riding these people that are dead? Seriously. Get some new heroes. The Founding Fathers are dead, and it's time to update your constitution. Place. They weren't taking over an existing government. They were creating one from scratch. They could choose any political system, and what they chose... Was and what they chose went through decades and decades of uh, issues and problems, famines, wars, civil wars, all of those things, until it became stable uh, as a, uh, a constitutional republic with representat representative uh, democracy. It was certainly a democracy, but with all the rudders and armaments the Founding Fathers put in place, our political system might be more fully described as a constitutional <sighs> republic with democratic yeah. representation. To understand yeah. exactly- Nobody's arguing with that shit, bitch. They're arguing the fact that the Constitutional Republic doesn't seem to be working very well for the minorities, bitch. What that means, we'll break down the constituent parts. We'll start with Republic. Yeah. From the Latin res publica, meaning public affair, a republic is, basically, the type of government we have. One that is by and for the people. The alternative would be a country- I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but like... Is that the history? Wait, was that the historical bit? Fa the founding fathers built America as a battleship, and like the, the two of every animal got on, and and you're gonna survive the flood. Wait, is that it? Is that it? Or that is what? Privately held or the property of its rulers. <clears throat> We've already discussed the democratic. <clears throat> By virtue of the fact that we, the American people, are given an electoral say in our legislation, the United States is a democracy. But when we say democratic representation, we are specifying that the United States is a representative democracy, as opposed to a direct democracy. That's because our electoral say comes from the fact that we vote on who represents us in both the legislative and executive branches, where laws yeah. are made and enacted. Okay. This is one of the many mechanisms the Founding Fathers put in place to protect us from being tossed around by popular opinion, in that upon being elected, our representatives have the autonomy to make their own decisions. We get to choose who is making decisions, and we have recourse if we don't like their decisions because our representatives must regularly run for re-election. But at the federal level, we, the American people, are not making decisions about legislation. Of course, at the state and local levels, there are instances- Yeah, and, and that's what people criticize because oftentimes the people at the federal level are not making um, decisions that uh, benefit the majority of Americans. That's the issue here. Your system is not working for the people anymore. That's the criticism. What's your solution? ...in which we engage in direct democracy by voting on various referendums. Because it's a gross <clears throat> misappropriation of funds. The Founding Fathers designed our political system to be more adaptable to popular opinion as we move from the federal to the local level. Smaller populations can get more specific in crafting laws to meet their needs. 
Because if a local government begins to become something that we find disagreeable, oh, we have the option to Emily Oss. That's true of state governments 19. too. Home prices, that's the big driver. It is causing tens of thousands of Californians to seek out new places to live right here in the Lone Star State. It's a brilliant application of the free market concept, allowing ah. state and local governments to compete for businesses and populations. But that's because awful. there's only one all right, so so wait, wait. Do you want Christian values or do you want to worship capitalism, or is it both the same thing to you? Fucking hell, free market. The free market, I swear, is the most dangerous religion in the world. I call it that because they they literally people who believe in the free market literally believe that like the market will just solve itself when it's obviously not. The way that, that capitalism, like, is structured is slowly eating away at people's lives and the world in general. It's, it's, it's not working. It's not working. <clears throat> People do not have, like, equal representation. People do not have equal opportunity. Things are not good for everyone. And the people, the a small amount of people with a lot of power are able to impose rules and regulations on the majority of people. That's a bad system. And it shouldn't take you dick writing a dictionary to make, to, to like, make people blind to that. <sighs> One federal the same old shit. Anything done at that level will affect every American. That is why if local governments are designed for quickness and maneuverability like a speedboat, the federal government is designed to be slow oh, and heavy. Hello? Hello? I thought I heard someone knock on the door. Changing its course is difficult, taking tremendous time, energy, and willpower. One example of this is the filibuster. Critics on the left love to point to the filibuster as an example of our political system being undemocratic, pretending well, yeah. like it's uncon- Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, who cares if it's unconstitutional? Who cares if it's unconstitutional? Who cares if um, if if it's democratic or republican or uh, you know constitutional? Who gives a shit about that? At the end of the day, a small amount of people with a lot of power are forcing popular legislation to be pushed to the side. Things people, the majority of Americans, need to be ignored, like housing for the homeless like fucking medicare yeah. that's un your argument against calling it undemocratic is stupid because you're not actually arguing against the issues here you're just trying to say well it's not actually we don't actually live in a de democracy so you're wrong and it's just like who, who gives a fuck I, I want to not die if I get cancer. I want to not have to become like to start cooking meth with like my my high school chemistry student uh, if if I have a fucking if I have fucking lung cancer. <sighs> That's just ridiculous. Unconscionable that there would be a procedure specifically designed to delay and prevent the legislative process. We've got to end the filibuster and let yeah. majority rule. But yeah. truly, it's only pretending, as evidenced by the untold number of times the left have used and defended the filibuster. So what? This opportunity. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 get rid of it then. So we're in agreement. Get rid of the filibuster. We need to talk cool. a bill to death gives those with a minority viewpoint a voice in the Senate. Maybe the most straightforward head- It is not a minority um, viewpoint when you have a disproportionate amount of power to the majority of people. Like, minorities and majorities do not work like you're trying to claim here. You're, you're conflating a lot of different things. You're saying that the minority view, who doesn't want to be oppressed, 
they're building you're talking about millionaires and billionaires you're talking about millionaires and billionaires you're talking about fascism hedge against pure majoritarianism but there is also a hedge against the minority cajoling the majority because cajoling. with 60 votes a filibuster can be broken what was in that, other words jabroni? if there is overwhelming support a super majority the USS US can be turned but thanks to procedures like the filibuster our political system doesn't flip flop so thanks to the procedures like the filibuster, your system is basically made completely and utterly uh, incapable of voting on legislation. <laughs> if a small amount of people with very large donors uh, decide to uh, make, make it a problem. Yeah, okay, cool. Legislation your, your argument sucks. every four years, undoing and redoing the same things in a perpetual cycle of pettiness. It's important to understand, though, that just because what state- What are you talking about? Like, that's not how governments work. That's That might be, like, what you, the spin you're trying to put on it, but that's not how shit works. What the fuck? Alright, I'm just gonna look at my new shit. Ooh, skin changer sash. What does that look like? Preview. Ooh. Weapon styles. Bow. Skin changer bow. What does that look like? Ooh. Stuff. Ooh. Looks creepy. I like it. And local governments have more flexibility, there are limits on what they can do. And that's where the constitutional part of constitutional republic with democratic representation comes in. The idea of republics and even democracy. Yeah, and that, that's when you like, when you appeal to an unelected group of wizards to come up to to come up with the, the fucking answers to your questions. <laughs> Bitch, like, you're talking you're talking about a system which is already like broken. Which already does not, obviously does not, stand for the benefit of the majority of Americans. Like, your system sucks. And that's what people are calling out. You have no argument against that. All you can do is say, the Founding Fathers meant for things to be in certain ways. Who gives a fuck about your Founding Fathers? They're dead. And their words should be revised and understood better. Hello, Katie predate our political system, but the Constitution of the United States marks an innovation of thought. It's the Founding Fathers' most important contribution to societal evolution, laying out the ideals that exist at the foundation of this nation. Fundamental rights that precede the formation of any government and that cannot be taken away. Federal legislators, as well as state and local governments, aren't working on a blank page. The Constitution hands them a coloring book, and if they color outside the lines, it's the role of the judicial branch to correct their work. This is why all of the complaining that the Supreme Court's recent decision <clears throat> in Dobbs v. Jackson Women's Health Organization is unconstitutional is totally incorrect. The Supreme Court justices are never supposed to be guided by public opinion, which is why they are appointed, immune from the concerns about having to run for re-election. Their job is to uphold the Constitution, regardless of public opinion. In the case of Dobbs, the Supreme Court found that the courts that ruled on Roe v. Wade and Planned Parenthood v. Casey overstepped, acting as legislators and writing law. They corrected that error by returning the issue of abortion to the state level. And if Americans truly believe that abortion is a right, there's recourse for that. A supermajority of representatives in Congress could pass a con- no, no, sorry, no, we already know that the majority of Americans um, support abortion. We already know this. We, we know this. So, and the problem is that a minority of people are trying to impose their will on other people's bodies that they shouldn't have a right to. Holy fuck. ...amendment making abortion the law of the land. Such a notion certainly did not belong to the Founding Fathers. It would have been unthinkable. But they had the humility and foresight 
to understand that the morals Humility. of their day might not be the values of tomorrow. The political system they designed is made to moderate between the countervailing concerns of stability and popular opinion. Well, I'm sorry, you can't just bring up, like, abortion rights as, as a balance between opinion and stability. We're talking about body, body, bodily autonomy and the enforcement of, like, women to give birth by the government. Or people with people who can give birth by always government. Always protecting our fundamental rights. Thomas Sowell said, There are no solutions. There are only trade-offs. Critics on the left should exercise some humility and foresight of their own by trying to understand the wisdom behind the trade-offs the Founding Fathers make. There is no wisdom to be found in people that abuse and abuse a broken system to enforce their will upon other people's bodies. You are a fucking ghoul. ...when fashioning this ship. It seems they recognize that wisdom when the filibuster, Supreme Court, Electoral College, or our system of checks and balances work in their favor. But it's worth a reminder that it is the functions of our political system that make it democratic, not the outcomes. But if they still want to claim that our political system is undemocratic, the question becomes, what is the superior alternative? Clearly, it's Communism. not a monarchy or a dictatorship or Communism. pure majoritarianism. And if you think pure majoritarianism is bad, a European parliamentary system where a political party with a beauties, look how they hold their heads up. You're just using an example of a better system right now to say that it's. Wait, is she saying that European parliamentary system is worse than America? Because like. That is the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Look at the outcomes of um, of uh, European democratic systems compared to that in America. Order of the popular vote makes decisions for the entire country is no better. Mm -hmm. Our federalism yes, ensures that. No, no, it is. It, it, it's 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 demonstrably better. Quite literally, it it it, it can be shown to be better. Did I just step into an alternate universe or something where European countries are doing worse than America? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm still waiting for you to bring up the history part of this shit. People in New York don't have to live under the laws that work for Wyoming. And the people in Wyoming don't have to live under the laws that work for New York. Yeah, that seems pretty shit. Especially when you only have five states in the US with protections for trans people. And you can't afford to move. That seems pretty shit to me. That seems pretty shit to me that there are women who are bleeding out waiting to get a necessary abortion because they are fucking miscarrying and the legal team is not working fast enough to say yes the doctors can fucking abort that's not okay you should be able to access health care no matter which state you're in to have, be safe and free access to food, shelter, clothing, all of these things. And you're saying that... You're saying that your representative democracy, constitutional republic, whatever the fuck you want to call USA, you're saying that's better? There is... I cannot point to any system off the top of my head that I can think of which is worse than the USA for the world in general. There is no government which is worse in the world, which has done more damage to the entirety of the world's population. There is no government which has caused le more suffering than the USA has and continues to do in the history of the fucking globe. And you're telling me that you... C that 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 you've got the best political system in the world 
This is what your education gives you? Damn! Hey, y'all, you know, you know how, um, your uh, 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 capitalists love to bring up the gulags, right? Your current prison system is currently performing worse today than the gulags did in during World War II. You have more of a population in prison than the Soviet Union ever did. If you're trying to tell me that Europe has a worse political system than America does, I don't think there's any hope for you. And that's certainly preferable to Canada's system, in which the country is governed by three cities. If nothing else, the proof of the Founding Fathers' wisdom can be found in the fact that the United States isn't just the longest standing constitutional republic in the world, it's the most badass battleship the seas have ever seen. I have to admit, she's absolutely right when it comes to um, America, right? Absolutely right. Like, that's how the world sees America. As a battleship that keeps on fucking bombing them. <laughs> Sink the ship. Monkey Gamer, that's a good article. But, to be taken with a grain of salt. I like the references that they use, but the commentary on it is very, very tanky. As in, like... What do you want? Very zealous is the best word. It is probably a better word. You know, very zealous communists. Wait, what was that? <laughs> Tanks! Yeah. Alright, so, I'm just trying to remember where I'm at with this game. I mean, I mean, I mean, blah, 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 blah. You need to read more CIA documents, yeah. Well, CIA documents is how I know that, um, how we know that, um, uh, conversion therapy and, uh, brainwashing doesn't Welcome exist, doesn't work, sorry. Well, I mean... It, 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 it absolutely depends on what you consider it working to look like, to be honest. I have an itchy forehead. Like, severely itchy. I'm trying not to itch it. Alright. Um, where's the guy? Alright, Claudia. Oh, Buy my junk! Don't touch my junk. Pay to touch. That's it. Comrade for, for react when. I've got another about another only got another half an hour in it today, so we'll see see if I can um Welcome to the just quickly go through the rest of the characters. Excuse me, I don't want to withdraw, I want to deposit. Five one four one. And then I'm gonna go get a Tim Tam. Which, you know, sucks to be Americans and not have Tim Tams. Tim Tams are the best. Tim Tams! <sighs> Legends are weird. Hate religions.
Yeah, I don't have money. America is just full of issues. Yes. Yes. They don't have issues. They have full uh, subscriptions. My favorite arc was when, like, people were starting to become communist. But then, like, I guess that, 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 that wasn't as popular an arc. For some reason, they like fascism more. Do, 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 do. I need, oh, okay, so this is, this is the one that I wanted to react to today, but that's like 40 minutes and I don't have time. I'm going to do that tomorrow. Um, I have a debate on Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Americans, uh, 8 a.m. Perth time for Australians or people on my time zone. So hopefully, see you all there. I'll be, I'll be streaming that. Yeah. Um, and if I have time, I'll do I'll do a react to the thing. But I really wanted to look at this video, which sounded pretty funny. Where is that comment? Where is it? Can I find it? Damn it! Strip, 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 strip. No? Where am I going? Where is it? In, uh... I could have sworn that I... I'm trying to find that uh, video. Oh, yes. I think I found it. Hold on. Almost there. Maybe. Maybe. So, um, is a lesson in totality deep thoughts while gaming. Deep thoughts while gaming. I just want to say Every that again. teenager deep. knows because I said so is the worst way for a parent or authority figure to respond when you challenge them over some decision. That's especially true when they're telling you to sacrifice yourself to some ancient demonic overlord. Welcome to Deep Thoughts While Gaming. I'm Chris Chappell. There are many different paths to political power, but most rely on persuading people to see you in a certain way. For instance, you could try to get people to believe that you're just like them, a relatable politician that they could imagine meeting up with for a beer. At least until you're caught eating pizza with a fork and knife. Or you could take the opposite angle, portraying yourself as a superhuman figure with all the answers, who will grant protection in exchange for blind obedience. It's that what? second way of trying to claim power that underlies the basic functioning oh, of Oh, here we go, here we go. Like, communism is when, is when you uh, vanguard party and don't give, uh, and, and then don't do a communism. Okay. This is this is this is this is this is uh, primary pri was it grade school communism, grade school American communism. This is what it is. That's what's happening. Get ready. Woo! Authoritarian systems. That's the reality at the core of Cult of the Lamb, a recent indie game that puts you in the position of a cute woolly anti-hero, who is saved just before being devoured by a group of four evil deities seeking to use you to increase their powers by another evil deity that is seeking to use you to increase his powers. From there, yeah. the one who waits tries to show you that obeying Secretly? His what are you talking about? None of this is secret. They're all pretty fucking open about it. Is in your own Why is that what I have a problem with? After all, he's an immortal being who once reigned supreme and you're just a lamb. For most of the game, you're gonna tell me if you had a choice between dying and doing a cult for that guy, you just choose the death. Why? I mean, your service to this sketchy savior does align with your own rise in the world. No one else is fucking saving you. You must rescue other sacrificial victims, then turn them into your own cult followers on his behalf. But gaining the loyalty of new servants is just the first step. 
After that, you need to manage them. And your overall <laughs> yes, base I need of to look at that. In order to maximize your power and influence. That means getting your paws dirty. Literally. As you deal with everything from farming, to gathering resources, to dealing with waste management. Okay. At least until you have... Wait, are, are, you tr are you just providing a synopsis for the game? Or are you going to show us how that it actually relates to communism and totalitarianism, like, within communism? Like, you haven't said anything communist yet. ...believers who are devout enough to do all that for you. This process of recruiting and manipulating yeah, servants this is echoes the sociologist Max Weber's theory about the three forms of political authority in the modern world. In his view... I'm sorry. Weber? Ah, go away. Robes mage, move it. Okay, so it's just authority could be based on either tradition, bureaucratic rationality, or personal charisma. Okay. In the past, tradition was often the key factor. The monarchies of medieval times, for example, claimed to reflect but, these... But, but he wasn't a Marxist. Why are you bringing up communism? ...essential order of the cosmos. However, in the modern era, that form of legitimacy is much harder to assert. Instead, rulers rely on either the idea that their leadership serves the public interest, or instead that they are personally exceptional in some quasi-mystical way. As early as the 1910s, they Wait, so where does democracy live within your perspective of... Wait, so this motherfucker just thinks that people are either fascist or fascist. What the fuck? Okay. I'm worried that this type of charismatic what a bleak outlook. would become ever more important as tradition and rationality were pushed aside. That proved to be pretty prophetic for a German scholar that died shortly after World War I. In many places, a new breed of authoritarian leaders built up personality cults between the 1920s and 1930s. The best remembered today are, of course, Hitler in Germany, Mussolini in Italy, and Stalin in the Soviet Union. Okay. After World War II, the far-right fascist version of authoritarianism was mostly cast aside. But the Soviet version, with a communist party dominated by an all-powerful central leader, began to spread. This was the pattern for a host of communist regimes, like East Germany, Cuba, Yugoslavia, Romania, North Korea, and China, among You've You've listed countries which had more democratic representation than your current government has. By your standards, you're living under an authoritarian regime right now. I'm serious. Like, China has more... has more democratic representation than America does. So does Cuba. I don't know about North Korea. Nobody knows what the fuck's going on in that place. But, like... Yeah, um... You don't understand what communism is, obviously. So, communism is when Stalin, basically. Others. Just like in Stalin's Russia, would-be dictators in these countries set themselves up as all-knowing, all-powerful figures with a unique ability to what? understand the essence of mystical Marxist teachings. 
to guide and instruct their mere human subjects. Are you talking about the Shining Path, or are you talking about communists? Are you talking about um, Are you talking about Jonestown, or are we talking about communism? Like, do you not know what communism is? Do you think that Xi Jinping got like what is it? Not Xi Jinping. Um, uh, fuck, I can never remember. Um, Yeah, Xi Jinping. Xi Xi Jinping. Um, do you think that? Wait, he he was voted into office. Like, he was elected every time, as far as I know. And and he has. They have a ninety percent approval rating. As uh, the national government in China has ninety percent approval rating. What what are you talking about, dude? People... <laughs> this is not how Marxism worked. Stalin didn't get put into power because he was some, like... Uh, because he was some sort of, like, figure of, uh, like, Marxist mysticism. The fuck did you get that idea from? He was put into power because he, like... He was the opposite of that. Like, Lenin spoke about how his bad smell and fucking shitty, a shitty fucking, um, shitty fucking, uh, attitude. Like, Lenin hated, like, Stalin's attitude. Stalin didn't have charisma. That's not how that happened. Stalin was there as part of, uh, part of a, um, vanguard party, yes, but they voted him into power, and obviously that was a fucking mistake. Yeah, the Chinese president has, has less power than the USA president, but, like, again, like, who knows how long that's going to last for, honestly. Like, uh, power corrupts, and uh, ultimate power corrupts ultimately. So... <coughs> we should have stepped down years ago, honestly. Like, yeah. It, it, your country... If you're... If you're... If the system of your... If your country's system is so dependent on you as a leader, uh, that you stepping down will topple the system, then your system is pretty shit. Not gonna lie. This is not me sticking up for Chinese, like, atrocities. This is me saying, like, you do not understand what totalitarianism is. Like, the Chinese government has majority support by the Chinese citizens. Same with Cuba. Um, same with North Korea, as far as I know, but I, again... The information coming out of uh, out of uh, that region is very very hard to verify uh, and know what what's true and what's bullshit. But yeah, <sighs> mental. In other words, they acted a lot like cult leaders, demanding blind loyalty and violently purging rivals who sought the same position for themselves. That that's literally not how any of these these uh, governments were structured. The, None of these governments were structured like that at all. You, you don't know what you're talking about. And all they really gave people in return was some basic infrastructure, like plumbing and body pits. Lots of body pits. What? When Mao Zedong took personal- No, they, the, the, the pits were for the Nazis, dude. ...control of the Chinese Communist Party. The Nazis were put in the fucking pits. Oh, no wonder that no wonder you have a problem with it, having the Nazi Nazi imagery taken down party he used a whole set of lamb worthy approaches while the party was holed up in a wartime base in Yan'an in northwest China Mao forced its members to study his thought conduct confession forced no he didn't and in self-criticism to show their loyalty and denounce those who failed to fall in line so wait was, is he describing the military, like, the military structure? Because your your military does exactly the same thing. What are you talking about? Dude, you're just describing how the military works. What are you fucking talking about? When they emerged from hiding in 1945, the party had turned itself into an organization fully dominated by one core leader. Later on, in another echo of Cult of the Lamb's demonic politics, when Mao was eventually marginalized by other high-level leaders in his party, he responded by calling on young believers to rise up against them and restore his power. What? And since his death in 19... Wait, what? 
What? Marginalized by other high-level leaders in his party, he responded by calling on young believers to rise up against them and restore his power. Is that is this motherfucker talking about how uh, about the class aside and the uh, revolt against the uh, bourgeoisie? Like, oh, is that is that it? Is that him call? Was that like? Yeah, I don't know about this one. I'm calling. I'm calling. And since his that. death in 1976, subsequent leaders have also tried to put themselves in the same position of authority as core of the party, whose thought is absolute truth. I don't know, dude. Like, you are making some claims, but you are not making any, like, actual quotes. You're not, you're not backing up any of this with any form of verifiable information. I, I, all, all I can do is say that it's probably bullshit. It's probably all just bullshit. Declaring new doctrines also serves as a loyalty test. Those what? who fail to make this- That's not even the mechanics of the game! They're like buffs, buffs and debuffs in the game. Switch what are you from about? past positions and cling to the old faith can be denounced as heretics. The old and faith. And these days, you can even be required to download apps. Are you talking? No, like, what are you talking? That's not. That's not a mechanic in the game. There's people who are disbelievers, but what are you talking about? The old faith. You are literally the cult of the old faith. Did you even play the game? What? It's like study she thought to make the country strong with regular ideological quizzes for party members to show their devotion to the leader. You live in a country which forces their children to fucking stand for the flag and the national anthem. Oh my gosh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Victoria 3 had people beg begging to nerf communism. Yeah, they... <laughs> I was wondering when that would happen, honestly, like, because, I mean, it was not communism, it was socialism, but yeah. Even the one who waits didn't think of that one. That's just one of the ways the communist states intervene in people's private lives and thoughts, justifying- What the fuck are your country has made it illegal for women to have fucking bodily autonomy? And your, your national government won't even make it, won't even protect people's fucking basic human rights. What are you talking about? Everything you described, I could say, like, you could just, like, cut out all the bits where he's talking about China and replace it with the US. Justifying surveillance. Do you know which country has the most, uh, um, wait, which city has the most uh, surveillance? Fucking London, dickhead. And surveillance and repression is needed to maintain unity of thinking. Ah oh, no no no! Capitalism needs to be needs to face the um, the marketplace of ideas. That's why they always try and you know fight against the marketplace of ideas. For most Marxist regimes, individual freedoms in career and lifestyle choices were also highly restricted. When the state wanted berries, it would mobilize you to go pick berries. When it wanted stone, it would send you out to do some mining. Yeah. That's a much better system than, than like, just praying to the god of the free market in order to come up with the best solutions. Like, after, after these country, after all of these countries recovered from the, um, uh, the famines caused by, um, re like experimentative agricultural design and also uh, massive sanctions, which uh, made the problem twenty times worse. Um, th 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 these countries have consistently outperformed um, capitalist countries in almost all measures when it comes to this stuff. <sighs> I just yeah. You know. And if it wanted soldiers or spies. Anyone could be militarized. Well, yeah, like over producing is just like you're you're describing a better system, and you and you're just like playing scary like classical music under it. I was about to say scary classical music, but like this one's better. Um, how dare you take uh, Claire de Lune and soil it with your fucking bullshit? Karl Marx already wrote suggestively in Das Kapital, violence is the midwife of every old society. 
pregnant with a new one. Yeah. But it was so... That, that, that's literally like, look at, look at the um, founding of America, look at the um, transition to, um, agri from agricultural to the industrial age, look at every transitional government, like, yes. Yes, that's that. That's what happens, unfortunately. Soviet style There's no Marxist, solution for that. Who would turn the use of violence to impose the party's will on the people into an art form. I'm sorry, but like, America has consistently done worse to its own people than these countries have. Worse than they ever have. Constantly and continually. The West does this to the world. Even my transition? Yeah, that was that was extremely violent. Well. <sighs> of course, you don't have to play the lamb as a bloodthirsty dictator. You can make him a relatively well-meaning technocrat, trying to run things in a rational way. Instead of building fighting pits to set your believers against each other, you can give them all productive jobs. Instead of conducting bloody sacrifices, you can reward your followers with ascension to a higher plane. You could even run an all-vegan commune, where eating meat is banned. Now that's what I call truly demonic. But nonetheless, when push comes to shove, you will still be the absolute despot who Not could bloodily sacrifice everyone as soon as you choose to. You rule okay. based on per- What has that got to do with communism? You've described how power works in society. You have not described how it interacts with communism rather than pointing to particular countries that you don't like that seem to have more Marxist ideals than you do. Instead of maybe pointing to... Fuck. Like, Israel. Maybe. Or... Um, America, the UK, Australia, South African apartheid, like all of these capitalist governments which used the, or the um, disproportionate power of those in government to impose laws and regulations which damaged and continue to damage uh, the citizens within the country and citizens outside of those borders as well. Uh, if you're going to talk about this as a lesson in totalitarian communism, you need to show how it's, like, a lesson in totalitarian communism, specifically. Because if you were just going to say totalitarianism, and talk about... And talk, and then talk about Mao, and talk about those things, yeah, there there is definitely that, but don't act as though Mao was who he was because people believed in his godliness. Oh my gosh, as we know, American never decides who dies, not like a cops decide a minority who doesn't serve life and shoots without thinking. Yeah, that's it. Uh, fucking hell. Personal awe and fear, not tradition or your delivery of some policy agenda. Fuck tradition. Especially when, spoiler alert, you defeat the one who waits, take his place of supremacy, and decide what to do with him. You could kill him, or turn him into another follower. Then humiliate him by making him a gardener or a janitor. Yep. Publicly shaming a former boss of the cult? I wonder if anybody else has had that idea. I guess if I was in an organization with that kind of retirement plan, I'd also be trying to make myself president for life. That's Chairman Lamb to you. Keep watching Deep Thoughts While Gaming, where the host may be charismatic, but he would never try to pull the... China uncensored?
Okay. Yep. <sighs> yeah, definitely. Definite cringe. Definite fucking cringe there. What is the time? 9.47. Is that an inactive though? It says inactive, but hey guys, uh, my earphones are working at least. I've been having problems with my earphones lately. I haven't been charging. Go to the bank, drop off my coin. Do I have much coin? No. Well, no. Not even head back to the bank. But yeah. So look forward to... So tomorrow I'll have a look at the... Um, I might have a look at uh, Comrade Ferret's um, response to that video. Um, and also um, hopefully uh, have a look at that uh, other video about the about, about uh, think tanks. Because I, I find that really interesting. I'd love to learn some more about that. And also to spread awareness about how think tanks work to um, pollute uh, discussion. I need to find some time to research for Friday night's, uh, Thursday night's, um, debate. So, if you're looking, if you come across anything cool, uh, anything interesting that you find about, um, you know, decriminalization or legalization, throw it my way if you like. Otherwise, um, yeah, definitely gonna be... Down, but that. All right, let's deposit some shit. Don't need that. Do 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 do. All right, we're good. I wasn't expecting to not have time for... Uh, what I've been trying to do is get as much of, as I can done the night before. Um, like, grind wires on this. Um, so that I can, like, just log on to Satisfactory and do some Satisfactory. But uh, there is... This game, there is a lot to do in this game. It's a fun game. In my opinion. 11 out of 10. Would 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 waste my life again. <sighs> it's just annoying though that um, all of the all of, all of the events reset at two. Every everything resets at two p.m. my time, so two a.m. Or well, like uh, 1 a.m. Um, uh, Eastern Standard Time, uh, which is just fucking annoying because it's just like I gotta get to, I gotta make sure things done get done either before I go to bed or first thing in the morning. It's just like that middle of the day time is just fucks me up so many times. I don't care. I have. Yay! Oh. People liked my video. Oh no, I didn't want to look at people's things. I, uh, I posted my first TikTok yesterday as well. I've got a TikTok now. Um, can I? How do I? How do I do it? So what? Uh, Da, 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 da. 
Where is it? I I I I'm I've been tr I've been trying to uh oh. I've been trying to um train the algorithm um and uh, it's now showing me conspiracy theory videos uh, that about a ancient aliens and stuff but now it's starting to do like fucking It's starting to do fucking, like, Jewish conspiracy stuff now. And I'm just like, hmm. Hmm. Huh. There we go. Hey. Stop, stop listening. There we go. Mute. Alright, there we go. That was what I was trying to do. Well, that's my TikTok. Well, that's the video anyway. I, I only I literally have one video on my channel, so <laughs> time to research. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Why do I keep on pressing that button? All the buttons. Alright. Polymord, clothing, jack. Boots. Sturdy. You can start all this shit. Oh yeah, two levels out of that. Fuck yes. Very nice. <clears throat> the reason why I'm leveling up um, my gathering character though now is because um, the higher the level of uh, crafting skill they've got, the more high level items you find. Which is a bit of a bitch. Because I haven't been like asking for help from other people. I've just been doing it solo. You can usually get someone to help, like, power level you up in, like, an afternoon, but I've been doing it slowly. I feel like it. It's how I have fun. Sabatons. Reinforced art. Yeah, deconstruct all of the shiz nizzle. One of the cool things uh, to do is like go into um, delves, and you can pick up all the weapons on the ground. Really helps your level level up. But, but if you do that with your higher level characters, it's better. I mean, you won't get all the material, much of materials from the higher level stuff, but you'll get more uh, experience for it. See, heaps of it. Delicious experience. Yum 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 yum. And we've got this. Alright. Oh, what? Ah, I've still got a days left on that. That's alright. I can just deconstruct everything. Yes. See all that higher level stuff? That's going to give me lots of nice, tasty experience. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Hey man, you wanna... Hey, how about you stop looking at your chest so I can... Ah! You will pay for that. I ah, fuck promise. you. He's seen me now, screw it. You waver from the path of lawfulness. Go away. You have a problem with it? You will pay for that. I promise. You have a problem with it? Stop me, asshole. Hey man, do you want to like walk away so I can steal this, please? Do I'm definitely not being suspicious. 
I'm definitely not. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Come no, on, don't be suspicious. Yeah, that's right. Just fuck off over there. I can. There we go. Do do do. Okay. And try and steal everything from everything else as well. Is, the, is there one in there? No. Is there one there? No. Right, who else can I steal from? I'm gonna steal all the shit. Fuck it. Act soldier. No. Prices? You have you have money? Packed guard? No. Stay away from the guards. They'll be like, oh my god! And like, try to attack you. See, there's a guard. If there's any tasty little lock boxes I can. Anything? <gasps> oh, you got one! Yours. Do you have one? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Who can I steal from now? Uh, tribute players? No. I never have money because they're gambling it. Oh, there we go. Where did that miss? There is a packed guard there. I'll watch out for him. Ooh. Let's also. Don't let that fit. You don't stand a snowball's chance in a forge. Definitely not being seen. You get away with well, I just did, because you did nothing. That bounty must be quite a burden, Skeever. Yep. It's awful. Look at me shaking. Hey. Dang it. He's all, he's he's staring at it. Okay. Stealing all the shit, this is awesome. Back to guard, stay away from him. Oh, no, disrupt him. That's her. Ah! Don't find me. Don't, don't come after me. It's really cool, because I've upgraded it so, like, I literally can, like, just run around and be in snake mode. It's awesome. Gotta love being a vamp. I see it. I'm... Sell some shoot. Yep, 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 yep. That was pretty good. Worth it. I'll move hot good. Hells yeah, I'm upstanding. Welcome. Shall I attend to your account? Ooh. Um, yes. Yes, do that. Welcome.
Oh, I'm missing some stuff. Ah, I forgot to do those. I'll do that. Welcome. With deposit. Six forty-eight. I think. Yes, perfect. Woo! I don't... Oh, I do. Why didn't you show up on my things? Ah. Hmm. I need to level up as well. Gosh, I got so much to do. We raise fine horses in. Wait, what? Bra of Julianos? Wait, what? Well. That is it from me today. Thank you for joining me. I'll be back tomorrow as usual. Ah, that was a good stretch. Sorry. Oh, oh. So, until we next meet, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself and take care of someone else. Um, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Does the auto, like, auto, um, raid doesn't work anymore, does it? I don't know. Might, um, I think the, the only person, like, live at the moment is, um, $27. I don't know, I'm just gonna leave. I don't want to send like rent, like I'll I'll start I need to start doing um raids I'll start doing them tomorrow remind me <laughs> please but uh, yeah for tonight that's it thank you for watching bye bye.